Well, brother, sister, look at me. Oh, why did I say that? I'm sorry. Hey, everybody, welcome to today's episode of Two Guys on Beer. I'm trying to open up the bottles before we start the show, and Dave keeps stopping me. But uh, welcome to you guys on beer. I'm Johnny Bellata. This is um, the stopping me from opening things, Dave and Martirana. I always have some sort face. of moniker, some sort of like, uh, there's always, why do I always have to have a modifier? Why do you have to, because because that's just the way things roll, man. It's our dynamic. It's how, it's how we do things. Five marches on. Yeah. Yeah, Chrome Dome. <laughs> Anyway, so I've been trying to open this bottle. Dave wouldn't let me, so now I can open it because we started the show. We're doing the uh, the very popular, if you haven't heard, heard, seen by the label, the Dogfish Head 120 Minute IPA. How many of you wish you were us right now? A lot of you, I know. Dave, we love this beer. Brewed three times a year. It is 18% alcohol by volume, and it is hopped to the extremes. It, goes through a two hour boil, at which, during which time they are continuously hopping the beer. Um, and when Sam Calgione actually started doing the 60 minute IPA, which was the first continuously hot beer they did, they actually put the hops on one of those um, those vibrating football games, mm -hmm. and that was and they vibrated the, the hops into the boil. Now they have a slightly more complicated process, but they do that for two hours, long boil, hops continuously. Then they put it into the fermenter. During the fermenter, daily, they open it up and they dry hop it for one month. That ferments up to 18%. And then for another month, they put it in and they let it rest and age on a bed of full leaf hops. So you've got continuous hopping for two hours in the boil, daily dry hopping during the fermentation, and then aged hopping on top of it. I've been quiet this whole time because I had one sip of this before we started the show and I'm drunk already. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, really, this uh, Dogfish Head, if you don't know, uh, the Sam Calgione and his team down there at Dogfish Head, they're a great team there. In Milton, Delaware, they have a brew pub that's in Rehoboth Beach. If you're ever in Delaware at the or in that area, you should certainly stop by the brew pub. They have some great stuff. Not only is it a brewery, uh, none of the brew pub, when they moved the brewery pieces out of the brew pub, they changed the floor, the floor that all the brewery stuff was on, to a distillery. So they have their own vodkas, gins, and rums. I think Sam likes to keep um, his libations very close, you know, to him and... Uh, and knows. But um, if you go to Dogfish Head's uh, website and you look at for the 120, there's a great video of Sam giving uh, tasting notes and uh, telling a history of the 120. Absolutely. And um, he gave up some uh, some very interesting things. And I I had to uh, to point this one out. We kept this out uh, before we started filming. And uh, it should be a beer that's not served. It should be served cool, not cold. So you want to have room temperature. You want it to be um, like a red wine beer fridge. Yeah, you know, just in like the just 60s, enough. you know, the, the or low 60s or 50s, maybe. you know, like 50s. something like that. I mean, you really want it to be uh, in that in that sort of range. And uh, like I said, this, well, like I said, the the video states that this ages very well. So you can put it in the cellar for a year, two years, get it back out. It will it'll keep uh, going because of its uh, its high alcohol nature. Mm -hmm. It'll keep on going. So absolutely. Uh, One of the things I love, I gotta just mention this. One of the things I absolutely love is that they make a very specific point to mention that you should not drink a whole 12 ounce one of these yourself unless you're planning on doing so over the course of an entire night. And they recommend getting one bottle and splitting it. So not, 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 now we split. But I'm totally guilty of I'm totally guilty of drinking one myself. A great, great, I mean overly hoppy smell on this and a little malty too. Let me tell you something about this beer. It's super, super duper spicy sweet in the beginning. And then dry uh, hop flavor just like kicks in. And when I say kicks it, like the back teeth start to rattle yeah. from the, the hop kick you get on this. But it finishes a little caramely, a little, you know, a bit of uh, molasses. And has, even though Sam says that he doesn't want it to be a liquor style beer, it wants to be a, a beer, it has a little bit of licorice a li liquor quality. It does. Um, th that's really well stated. <laughs> There's not a whole lot I can say on top of that. This, uh, you know, I'm on my game. one of the things you should know is that this is actually less hoppy than, say, the 60 or the 90 minute. And that's because the higher that something ferments, the more the, the more that the yeasts are attacking sugars, right, which breaks down those sugars. But in order to get that sugar level that high, 
it means the, the introduction of more and more yeah. unfermentable sugars, which makes this sweeter. So this has a very sweet, um, almost Belgian-esque kind of introduction, like like a Belgian strong dark. Mm -hmm. And then, and then that, and then there is that hot finish in the end. And this does not die off. This reminds you all the way down that it's still here. Oh, and, certainly and does. And you feel it right there. Certainly does. I, I give this. I certainly have to give this high marks only because, for number one, it's uniqueness. Number two. Uh, it's very difficult to come by and it's very well crafted even though it's not something that I would recommend to the faint of heart uh, when it comes to beer. It's certainly yes, not sir. something that I would drink on a constant basis, but something I would like to have once or twice a year to warm me up. Sure. Uh, I, and this is I, a great fireside beer. I, I give the 120 minute the 90. Um, it really it really hits home for me. I give it high marks, but that's about it. It's hard to give this marks because you know, this is one of those beers where it sits so far side outside of the bounds of, of what we traditionally think of beer as that it's one of those things that you like or you don't like. Um, that said, I do think this is well crafted. I'll sit on a 90 with Johnny. The, just the love, the care that's put into this, the fact that, you know, the flavors are all really good. Yeah. Um, and just that little bit of fun alcohol on the back of it. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, so we're going to go drink and be merry and uh, finish the rest of this off and maybe give some some of our friends who are sitting around. So um, if you want to check things out, uh, Twitter, Facebook, blah, 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 you got it all cool. All right, and for, uh, I'd like to thank Nice and Mechanics Rosen once again for Two Guys on Beer. I'm Johnny Bellotto. I'm Dave Moderato. Go, go enjoy, enjoy some, some beer. beer. Wow. Papa 